So hi, hello and welcome again. I'm Oliver, Microbe Hunter here and uh, today I want to quickly respond uh, to a comment that I received uh, on my YouTube channel. It's uh, related to citizen science projects um, concerning microscopy and uh, I'm going to read out the comment first and then I do have a suggestion. I would like to simply share my thoughts uh, uh, with you. So I love your channel. <laughs> That's how it starts. I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah? To all micro-loving scientists here I would ask is to any sort of citizen science that would be worth publication that we might work might work on together. I'd love to work with people. I'm a retired biochemist in New Zealand and would love to keep active on research. Would be a privilege to contribute and perhaps work with Oliver. That's me as a PI. That is uh, not a private investigator, but uh, it's referred to as principal investigator. I'm just uh, thinking out loud. I find uh, guys who adopt carpet beetle larvae as pets are kind uh, are my kind of folks. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this makes reference to one of my videos that I made um, where I put a carpet beetle under the microscope. And uh, I just want to say that this is not the first uh, time that uh, there are actually thoughts floating around concerning um, uh, citizen science. So I would like to talk first about uh, a little bit on that. And then I do have a concrete recommendation. Um, yeah, that's this app over here. It's called iNaturalist, sm uh, small i and naturalist. And uh, I just want to very quickly uh, show it to you. It's a free app and uh, that might be a, um, I would say, a very low entry barrier a possibility to do some basic citizen science and collection of pictures and, and, and species and so on. So I, I just want to, yeah, but I want to talk about this here maybe first a little bit. Well, uh, first of all, um, yeah, back in the day, a long time ago, <laughs> um, I was a little bit into um, astronomy, so a stargazing, a telescope and things like this. And uh, there are indeed citizen science projects in astronomy where, for example, um, advanced amateurs can um, look at the stars and maybe discover a, an asteroid maybe or or some kind of a supernova in a very distant galaxy. And then there's a database where you can actually enter this data and then you can kind of co can collect uh, this data together. So what we need is uh, if you want to do some citizen science, which is basically, um, for those of you who don't know this term, is uh, um, everybody's science, uh, so to say. Um, anybody who's interested, uh, individuals like we hobbyists, um, or for example, maybe with schools as teachers and so on. If you want to contribute to kind of serious science by data, collecting. Yeah, and in the field of astronomy, this is um, yeah, done, right? Um, and in the field of uh, microscopy, um, there are, um, I did a little bit of research a few days ago, there are uh, a couple of citizen science projects out there, for example, collection of microplastics and so on. Um, however, um, they are, it seems like these projects are not very large. So this means, uh, yeah, it's not quite as many people are contributing, right? Uh, so it's very um, decentralized a little bit. Um, um, I mean, there are a whole bunch of, of biology citizen science projects out there um, where, I don't know, you're kind of uh, uh, observing birds maybe or things like this. But concerning microscopy, I think not so much really. Um, and um, so this is indeed something that I have also been thinking about and I want once made a proposal in one of my previous videos that maybe it would be kind of cool to have some kind of a maybe some kind of a microplastics survey to determine the microplastics in, in water or whatnot. Um, but I discovered that uh, there are already projects like this. However, um, first little research has kind of shown that, um, yeah, they're not, it's not super active. Okay, um, so this is uh, just something that I want to mention here. And um, because uh, he posted this, um, he's a bio retired biochemist. Um, and this is another thing um, to, to make a paper, basically a scientific publication. I mean, this is already getting a little bit, um, how shall I put this? Uh, that, that's already a very high bar. Right, uh, um, to actually uh, gather data of sufficient quality that you're actually able to make a publication, that's uh, that's a high bar, right? Um, but uh, but I understand where you're coming from, and I've been thinking about similar things here. Um, so. Therefore, I was kind of thinking, what is a, a low bar way of how people can actually contribute uh, and collect uh, pictures and data and, and do a little bit of, of, of amateur and hobby microscopy? And this is uh, this app here that I would like to recommend. Um, as I mentioned, it's called iNaturalist, and it's a free app. And all, you have to have an account, of course, but you can also access it um, online over the web. 
um, yeah, oh, basically just over a regular web browser, you log in. And then uh, this is basically a uh, an app where you can collect pictures um, and uh, yeah, not only of, of micro, uh, microorganisms, but also of animals and, and so on, and, and simply document it where you found those and then give a description. One of the things that I kind of like about this um, is, is that it also does uh, using some kind of an AI uh, algorithm, some automatic identification as well. So if you take a picture of an organism, um, it will basically try to identify it automatically and then give a, a recommendation, right? And here I did a search now, um, and um, basically I just uh, bas uh, paramecia, Right, and that's basically what people have already uh, uploaded. And if you just basically click something over here, right, and let's see where we're getting to. Yeah, then you of course see the picture um, and uh, also where it was collected. And um, as a matter of fact, some um, of these um, pictures actually have so called they call it research quality. Um, and this basically means if you have enough, uh, um, if you have enough uh, uh, data present, where it was collected, when it was collected, and the location, and so on. Um, then actually it will be or it can be used as a kind of for biodiversity studies and then it has this kind of it's given the label research quality or something like that right so this is actually something that i highly recommend um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't even know where I'm my. Um, I have to find now my own um, account now. Yeah, I uh, yeah, that's basically one of the <laughs> things here that I I, I found. It's a yeah yeah a beetle with one missing leg over here so I've not only been uh, taking pictures of microorganisms but also of other um, yeah um, other uh, other species as well but I just want to show you this uh, that this is indeed a, a possibility for, for where people can actually contribute um, to yeah to the wider community as well and that I would say is is a recommendation that I have uh, especially if you want to get your pictures published or what you want to have some kind of a collection of, of, of pictures yourself and you do not just want to publish them let's say on reddit or on yeah on, on Facebook or wherever um, but actually if you want to uh, establish your own um, I would say collection of pictures then this is actually something that I, I would recommend right and uh, because you are able to take uh, pictures directly with a mobile phone or of course then you just hold the mobile phone in front of your microscope eyepiece and then you can take a picture as well yeah that's a, a rotter for him um, as well and of course it's possible to uh, directly also upload uh, pictures uh, on the computer that you've taken so if you've got um, you know, some kind of a, 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 a folder with your micrographs and of course you can also directly upload pictures from there into iNaturalist. I just wanted to share this with you and uh, um, yeah, thank you for the comment um, again and uh, um, yeah, um, I think uh, that uh, citizen science is indeed an interesting uh, thing but uh, what we need in this case is we need some kind of a, a, a database or data repository where people can actually share uh, their data and then we need standardized protocols uh, to collect the data to actually make it publication quality um, but I would say that maybe uh, iNaturalist could be a first uh, um, I would say uh, entry into into this uh, um, uh, into this direction. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to share this uh, with you. Uh, thank you again for the comments. Uh, wish you all the best. Uh, happy micro hunting as always. And yeah, there is a comment section below. Uh, would like to hear your opinions. Bye bye.